Aloha my kako, a como my the curtain call, a program of reviews, previews, interviews, and features of and or with the great art and artist on Maui and beyond. I'm Paul James Brown. This past week was another wonderful cultural journey beginning at the Maui Arts and Cultural Center for a free concert by Raiatea Helm and then a screening of The Making of Hawaiian Soul followed by the actual multiple award-winning short film. Hawaiian Soul is the short film, 20 minutes, written and directed by Oahu's Aina Paika about the much too brief and extraordinary life of Molokai artist, singer, and Hawaiian hero George Jarrett Helm Jr., played by Kolea Fukumitsu. Mr. Helm Jr. was part of the 27 Club that includes Brian Jones, Jim Morrison, Jimi Hendrix, Janis Joplin, Robert Johnson, and Jean-Michel Basquiat, all who died at 27 along with Walter Ritty, Lohiao Pa'oa, Loretta Ritty, Malia Kalave, Emmett Aluli, Mateo Sibion, awakened the consciousness of the Hawaiian people through opposition to the desecration of Ka'olawe by the U.S. Navy bombing and shelling of the island, which started in 1941 and continued until 1990. Mr. Fukumitsu bears an uncanny resemblance to the late Mr. Helm Jr., and although he didn't recreate the extraordinary falsetto that Mr. Helm Jr. was so renowned for, some called it, quote, one of the greatest Hawaiian falsetto vocalists whose vocal range was almost inhuman, unquote. Listen to this excerpt from, from Kala Maula from his 2008 album, The Music of George Helm, a true Hawaiian. <laughs> That voice is the definition of chicken skin inducing. Mr. Fukumitsu's singing is quite reminiscent of the late master. The film shows Mr. Helm Jr. as a child, beautifully created by Kamakani Fukumitsu. We see his family musical influence with a warm ho'olalea featuring Rayatea Helm, Mr. Helm Jr.'s niece, sharing her remarkable gifts. The moment when Master Fukumitsu, as the boy George Helm Jr., experiences the bombing is a transcendentally powerful vision. As the vibrations from the explosions resounds through the ground, this reaction echoes throughout the film. There is a wonderful segment where the four try to convince Kupuna during a church service to join them in their efforts. In it, we see Penny Martin of Molokai, newly crowned three-time world champion in V670s division and one time in V1260s division at the 2022 International Va'a Federation World Championship races in London this past week, among others. The film takes us to the point where the opposition begins. Then we learn that Mr. Helm Jr. disappeared in the channel between Maui and Ka'olawe near Molokini, along with Kimo Mitchell in 1977. The rest of the film is a series of photos and texts that wet our whistles for a full feature. The story needs to be told, and Aina Paika and the crew of Hawaiian filmmakers, he and his producing partners, Kaliko Ma'i'i, Justin A. Chong, Keikama Helm, Ain Bakudis, Miki Ala Pescaya, Ui Lima, Lina Kaona Wong, and Malia Holloman have assembled are the ones to tell it. This needs to be a full-length feature. Come on, Maui entrepreneurs, step up to the plate and make it happen. The Maui Arts and Cultural Center's education program is helping to develop a curriculum for the schools. 
which will have pre- and post-activities and exercises to help preserve the spirit and actions of Mr. Helm Jr. as portrayed in the film. This will ensure his legacy is remembered, honored, and provides inspiration and hope for our younger generations for many years to come. If you go to hawaiiansoulmovie.com and click on screenings, you can register your email there and you will be notified of screenings you can attend. Maui playwright J.J. Minier and actor extraordinaire Karen Romero produced Penelope at Pro Arts Playhouse last week. And if you weren't lucky enough to catch this funny and touching play with a great message and cast last weekend, it only played for four performances, perhaps your kids will catch it if and when it tours to the schools, and it should. When Penelope, Karen Romero, fights back against the bully, Billy, who has insulted her singing, she is given detention. Miss Olinda, the welcome return to the Maui on stage of too long absent Jeannie Kalanya, is a no-nonsense educator who meets out Penelope's punishment with ruthless precision and informs her, because she is not only one who seems to be unable to control her temper, but she is also not a stellar student, she will not be allowed to continue in choir. Penelope is devastated by this sentence and begs, bribes, and sweet talks to try and get Miss Olinda to relent, but to no avail. Miss Olinda is firm. Penelope is visited by Rocco the Rooster, James Minier, Elvis the Gecko, Leah Krieg, and Eclipse the Cat, Miss Kalanya, in a dual role. She reveals that her dream, her life, her calling is to be a singer. Her friends are encouraging, obstreperous, and distracting, but ultimately they are supportive and instructive, which leads to Penelope's wonderful finale. As Penelope, Ms. Romero is totally disarming. She is so open and truthful. She pulls the audience into the story, and at several times in the show, she enlisted the audience to answer questions, find characters, and join her in celebration. We don't doubt for an instant she is a grade school student with some serious problems and strong ambition. Her childlike voice and physicality are something to behold and thoroughly convincing. The play rests on her shoulders, and there it is secure and comes vibrantly alive. We root for Penelope throughout the show. Ms. Kalania was last seen as Kate in the wonderful 2011 production by Maui on stage of The Taming of the Shrew with Chino LaForge as Petruchio. It's been too long, and she hasn't lost a step in more than a decade of absence from our stages. Her Miss Olinda was forthright, direct, very adult, and as firm as a police officer in upholding the rules. Then she has to do, and continues to do, throughout the show's very quick 70 minutes, one of the world's fastest changes, and she comes on as a black cat named Eclipse. Miss Kalania knows how to portray a cat, and when she curls up on the desk, it just wanted to go up and pet her. She was that real. Her portrayal of the Zen nature of Eclipse was also priceless, especially when she sat in Lotus and omed to meow. Mr. Meneer, as Rocco the Rooster, is making his stage debut, and he gave us your typical rooster, full of himself, loud, and mischievous. His scene, when he has not quite finished his meal, was among his funniest and best moments. Ms. Krieger's Elvis the Gecko is just hilarious. She is fully committed every moment as the consummate professional she always is. When she hangs on the wall to hide from Miss Olinda, you really see her hanging, even though you can see her feet firmly planted on the floor. Her opening bent leg balletic turn, even in the oversized bulky gecko suit, was executed as if she was a prima ballerina. And when Rocco wants to make her a meal, the fear she portrayed was palpable. No matter what she does, she never phones it in and always gives it her utmost best. Ironically, she was the tortured sister Bianca in that Maui on stage Taming of the Shrew. But that was the last time we saw Miss Kalanya on Maui stages. Mr. Meneer's play reminds all of us, unless we try, we can never succeed. And the key to success is informed, conscious, consistent, and growing practice, which will result in confident and better quality performance. Bravo to everyone associated with this surprising production by some welcome newcomers to Maui stages and seasoned veterans. I hope we will be seeing a lot more of Ms. Romero and Ms. Kalania in the future, and we can never get enough of Ms. Krieg. Well, that's Curtain Call for this week. Mahalo Nui Lola for tuning in. I'm Paul James Brown. Ahui ho!